welcome to another Disney vlog. Today's vlog is super exciting because we are heading into Hollywood Studios. Today is May the 4th, so we're going to go to Galaxy's Edge for Star Wars Day. I've got my new Star Wars t-shirt on. We've specifically booked this time of year so that we could visit Galaxy's Edge on Star Wars Day. Me and Meg are huge Star Wars fans because our dad loved it, so we watched it growing up. We also love all the new movies, The Mandalorian. So yeah, we're super excited to see what it's like. I've seen vlogs and it looks incredible. This morning we had to be on the app for seven to make sure we got the virtual queue for the special merchandise shop. They sell exclusive merch apparently and you have to join the queue. That's the only way you can get into the shop is by joining the virtual queue. That's exactly the same way you join Cosmic Rewind or Tron. So yeah, super chuffed we got that. We got group eight. So yeah, early entry for Hollywood Studios is at half seven. So we're gonna head in now. So if you wanna come along with us and see what it's like to be at Galaxy's Edge on Star Wars Day, then please stick around and watch this video. Give it a like at any point and please subscribe because there's still one more video left in this series. And yeah, let's go to Galaxy's Edge on May the 4th. Oh, you got your Disney ears on. Yeah. I need Are like literally any excuse that I need. Yeah. Gonna... Are you excited for May the 4th? I am. I just really hope that, well, I think people do. I just can't wait to see people in like costumes or outfits. Yeah. Off we go to the bus. Oh wow, I can already see that the queue for Hollywood Studios to get the bus is crazy. So yeah, if that's any indication already, then we're in for a busy one. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Are we excited? Yeah! Happy yeah! May the force be with you! We can already see how busy it is at the entrance. But they have these signs that say, this is the way. This is the way. Wow, look at all the people not in early entry, I think, on the right. So we have early entry because we are staying at a Disney resort. Thank you. Yay, we're in! Time check? 10 to 8. It's 10 to 8. You know what, that wasn't as hard as I thought getting into the park. I thought it was going to be way more chaotic. We found BB-8 and R2-D2. I think these are the 50th statues that they put together. Oh, we love BB-8. Oh, we should have bought our BB-8 zippers. Ash, if there's any day to get a BB-8 zipper, it's today. Yeah. Oh yeah, we saw that those, they've got the new start, the Stormtrooper helmet popcorn. But yeah, our virtual queue for the merchandise shop is at nine. So I think we're just going to hang about and wait for that because it's already going to be crazy busy at Galaxy's Edge. Uh, and we really want to be sort of in the first group for the shop. So yeah, it's over by Muppets 3D. So we're just going to saunter over there. So the merch shop is by Muppets 3D. Just under there. Morning. Hello, morning. Get your QR code ready. Oh, we're going in. Hello, you okay? I think we've got that one. Thank you. Ooh. I think though, this is the stuff on the store. Like I've seen all of this stuff on Disney store. Oh, that is cool. I'm like, what would I wear more? A jumper or a t-shirt? Probably a jumper. If I've already got a t-shirt. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's really good quality because it's stitched. Yeah. I'm going to run and grab a... Oh, there's t-shirts over there. Yeah, yeah that's a small mix. 54 99 That's actually not bad. No. Like how much other stuff's cost. Yeah, how much spirit jerseys are. The only thing is, because that is a solid... Thing. Yeah. The embroidery is very stiff. They've got t-shirts. Oh, they've got two designs. One's an R2-D2. Oh, I think I'd do R2-D2. I'd do R2-D2. It feels more like... Can we open that up, please? Well, that's not an extra large. Oh, these are kids. Well, may the fourth be with you, kids. Neither one? 
Use the pins. Okay, I might get that one. Just for the yeah, that's cool. I thought I saw one that was just um, R2 on its own. Ah. Uh, Can I get one for Minnie? Are they dog toys? No, they're just wishes. Mm. You could do. Did she destroy that? No, she's not a destructive dog, is she? No. Just a pin. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is cool. That's nice. It's better than last year, I think, because the yeah, last year was quite, like, like, um, light colour. Yeah, that is nice. That is cute. I like the, um, heatable one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should we buy Dad one? <laughs> I'm tempted to get a mug. Yeah, that's really cool. How much are the mugs? I'm going to guess the 20 minutes ago. Oh, 25. Oh, it's not bad. So here are the t-shirts, the adult ones. Yeah, I like it. What's it say on the back? Oh, nothing. Oh, I quite like that it's got nothing on the back. Quality. Yeah, I like that. I might get the t-shirt. Yeah, that's really cool. I much prefer the um, graphics this year. To yeah, oh my God, same. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to get that. And I think I like the large. They have a cap as well. Oh, I think the embroidery is really, really good quality. I like that navy cap. And that is... That's $29.99, which I think is quite reasonable for limited edition merch. Although this is not limited edition, by the way, because you can get this all on Disney Store. I'm tempted. Yeah, I think I'm going to get one, just because it has the date on it. Yeah. yeah. I do think you can get this all on Disney Store though, which I think is a bit of a. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't guarantee it for like you not to get it today. Yeah, yeah. But I think because it's probably all sold out today. But yeah, we saw it yesterday. Yeah. 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 The only thing these aren't on there because I only saw the R two D one, not these. Oh, okay. But yeah. Do I need the I don't think you need the mug, no, but I, I think, think get the t-shirt. The, the mug is like not as nice as well. No. Right, so we're going to get a pin badge each. Are you getting anything? No. Pin badge each and a t-shirt each. So me and Megan bought a pin badge each and a t-shirt each, and that came to 102.20. So we've also seen people with these popcorn buckets that are Stormtrooper helmets. So we are going to go and try and find one of those. Apparently they're back by the entrance. Makes sense that they're not in their Star Wars land because people would just queue. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're going to go try and find one of those before they sell out. And yeah, then we'll probably head over to Galaxy's Edge. Right, overall thoughts on the uh, the shop and the whole virtual queue experience? Virtual queue experience, fine, because I could run very smoothly yeah we're very early in the day so yeah it's probably a i think later in the day you'd still be queuing a little bit to get in yeah and it did feel quite busy already in there so yeah. i can only imagine it will get busier, busier yeah um i would say though it doesn't feel like it's limited edition merch because it's all yeah. on the disney store yeah and we saw it yesterday so like before may the 4th yeah. so i feel like they kind of hype it up a bit but you don't really need you can buy it online yeah. on the Disney Store US and UK, but still cool that we bought it while we were here. Yeah, I think Yeah. And I'm happy with my t shirt and my pin. Yeah, happy with what we've got. We didn't go overboard. So, yeah. Overall, pretty good experience. So, this is where we're getting our popcorn buckets from. Ooh! Yes. <laughs> That's them. And the total for two of those is 54.08. But me and Megan are going to share one. Ooh. Exciting. How many of you sold already? We've only been selling them for about 20 minutes. I'll be right Too. Yeah, buddy. We got him. Yeah, buddy. 
<laughs> they're so cool. Good thing I bought my large suitcase to take it home. <laughs> oh God, I forgot about that. That's a big up the blame of me. <laughs> blue and gives me one back. Do you reckon Megan knows what's that here? Oh, it's salty popcorn. I reckon it's liquid fruit, it's butter. Oh, I'm I, um, I reckon I can get a duck trip in this. <laughs> That's a full cool shot. Yeah, especially for the um, theme of this year's t-shirt. Oh, the popcorn's nice. She's gonna make me so thirsty. I know. When she said that, I was like, yeah. She was like, water? Water? Yeah, I need water. To get a BB-8 coat. Yeah. The other day it was the 35th anniversary and we totally didn't realise and didn't get in the virtual queue. But they were selling the pins in another shop today so we managed to get our hands on the limited edition pin. So when Disney says, something's limited edition, you can only get it in the shop. Lies. You can get it in the shop, maybe on a different day. Yeah, on a different day or on the online shop. To be shop. fair, they didn't get a lot of them. Yeah, and to be fair, these aren't online. No. No. I really did want the other design as well, though. The, um, yeah, oh, like the Fantas. Yeah. yeah. How much for these? Oh, $17.99 with tax. But they're so cute. 38 32 for two pins. I didn't even check. Yeah, well, if you want them, then you want them, don't you? But yeah, I love those. Right, we are going to make our way into Galaxy's Edge now. Ah! With, along with the mass of everyone else. else yeah so yeah i'll film what i can but it might be very chaotic yeah but yeah i'm excited to see what it's like and the atmosphere and see everyone's outfits and yeah oh yep there's the queue for rise you can get lightning lanes for rise but the earliest one was 6 40. I think the Mandalorian is over here. <laughs> so you can meet some of these Star Wars characters throughout the park. But it is very, very busy. So this is where you get the Ronto wraps. And the queue for that is already crazy long. So that is what they are queuing for, that little quick service there. So we're just heading over to the Millennium Falcon. Ooh. Oh, happy May the 4th, Megs. I can't believe we're in Galaxy's Edge from May the 4th. There's Smuggler's Run. In their I know. I love it. Yay! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Happy May the 4th. Right, our plan now is to get some refreshments because the popcorn is very salty. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna head over to Rise of the Resistance. So it's currently an 80 minute queue, but we have time between now and our Ogre's reservation. So it'd be nice to stand in the shade. But yeah, we definitely need to prepare before we go queue for that long. Oh, Coke. Air Sprite, please. Can I get a Coke and a Sprite? Ooh, get a Sprite. Popcorn. Yay, that's so cute. Thank you. Yay. We're armed with our little sprites, our little BB-8 sprites. Also got our popcorn bucket, ready to go and queue for rise for 105 minutes. Super shaded. We might as well, we're here for May the 4th, so. It's going to be less chaotic than anywhere else. Yeah. Time check. 
Yeah, so it's just currently 9 34, so we'll check in again with you when we're near the front. Time check 11 45. Two hours, 10 minutes. So we're near the front. Oh, I've been reading my book. Yeah, you've been reading your Kindle. It's quite a joy. Oh, we're nearly in. Yay! This ride is so cool. Yeah, it's really 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 cool. Yeah, Commander 9 Nano, please report back to ITS cockpit. Incoming transmission from Ray. BB 8, is everyone assembled? Good. Shouldn't you be in flight prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the course. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. I'm not that I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Panther and another squadron of X-Wings transport us to the rendezvous point on Picard. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. Stand clear. Get right, let's go, everyone.
I love this bed.
came in a little off target. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Yes, five, you too. <laughs> what did we think? So good! Oh, it's worth the wait, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, now we need to head straight over to Ogre's Cantina, so we timed that pretty well, to be fair. Just on our way to Ogre's. And it is very busy. Oh, look at these guys' outfits. Look. Yeah, they could look like they work here. Oh, there's blue milk mix. Oh, I do like that stormtroopers just wander around in the day. I think that's cool. Yeah, Ogres is just near the Millennium Falcon. Hiya. Uh, yeah, we've got a reservation, yeah. Check in with my friend Matt right here, or if you have the mic to see the audio staff, you can go ahead and check in on there. Oh, they're coming up on here, so I have to do everything. Oh. So once you reach Ogus, you need to check in with your reservation, and then they will call you when your spot is ready. But Ogus is right by the Millennium Falcon. And it's still not as busy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be busier. But the queue to get into Ogus is very busy. Oh, we've been summoned. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Our first time here for all three of us? Yes. Welcome to the best kids in the galaxy, of course. We have you on one of our high tops today. My friend Phil is going to be serving you guys. And it is your shared experience. Who the other people near you guys? Oh. Thank you. 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 Thank Fiasco we had in LA, they didn't even know ideas. No, 
was just going to play out to the park for Which is happening. Yeah. But yeah, we love it because super glad we got this. I think we come back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's cool that we're doing it on Star Wars Day. Yeah, I know. Because I feel like everyone's extra vibey. Yeah. You're an idiot. Well, we've just finished at Ogre's, which was awesome. We loved it, didn't we? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the cocktail. Yeah, the cocktails were good, the vibes were good, stuff were amazing. Stuff were amazing. And uh, yeah, loved it. I'll put the uh, cost of what our two cocktails were down below. But yeah, definitely recommend Ogres. Yeah. We loved it. But Star Wars Land is super busy right now, the ride times are crazy long. So we're gonna leave Galaxy's Edge and go find some food, but we're hoping that we can make it uh, until dark to see what Galaxy's Edge looks like in the night time so yeah fingers crossed we can make it till later so we have come to the ABC commissary for lunch so I've gone for the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich which was 11 99 plus tax I've got a coke and then Megan's gone for a kids meal which is the chicken salad and it comes with fries and a drink and that is $7.79 plus tax. So we're just going to sit here and have our food and then decide what our plan is going to be, whether we stick around in Hollywood or go to another park. Well, that was quick. Uh, Ashley got her BB-8 zipper. Me and Megan already have one of these from our last trip and Ashley's joined the club. I think they're so cute and yeah, we love these. But Ashley's gone for the fish tacos, I've gone for the cheese toasty, and then Megan's gone for the kids chicken salad. So yeah, looks it looks, it smells incredible. I can't wait to give it a go. Chicken. Let's try the cheese toasty. And the buffalo dip. Solid toasting. We were going to go to Woody's Lunchbox again, but it's too hot to sit outside, so come here where there's some AC. Good choice. Hello! Hi. We made it to 9 o'clock, so it is now dark. And we're going to head into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge again. We've kind of filled our time with rides. We did Tower of Terror. Yeah. We did Slinky Dog in the Dark, which was awesome. Toy Story Mania, and Mickey and Minnie's. Minnie, yeah. We met Olaf from Pluto. Yeah. We watched Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah we did loads, but oh my God, I can already see the lightsabers, mates. And oh I'm so God. glad we stayed for this. No, you need to see this. Oh my God, look at them all. Oh my God, I can't wait to see the Millennium Falcon. Oh my god, look at all of these. Oh my god, look at those people posing for photos of the official. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, now I want a lightsaber. <laughs> I think I would get maybe green or purple. Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, we'll have to go over and look at Millennium Falcon. Oh my god, at night it's so colourful. Oh my god, this is insane. I'm so glad we actually held out now to stay. Yeah, literally on our way over here we were like, our feet are so painful. I know. We're so tired. But honestly, it's so worth it just looking at all the lightsabers. Oh, his outfit's really cool. Where are we going? That's 
Burgers Cantina where we were before. And then that's everyone gathered by the Millennium Falcon. What did she say? This is the end of the world. Grab your children while you can. And right now it's only open if you have a lightning lane or reservation. It's so cool seeing everyone in their outfits. Oh, I just love seeing all of the lightsabers. I think it's unbelievable. I kind of want to get closer. Can we try? This is so cool. Lightsabers, it's so cool. in the night. Sorry. It's alright? It's a very polite oh, look, this is. bar. Oh, that was insane. I'm so glad we stuck that out. I'm really proud of us for sticking that out. But yeah, if you're here for May the 4th or you're thinking about it, I would 100% recommend purely for that. That was worth it. Seeing and hearing them all chant. I know, and I'm going to put some real effort into costumes today. Yeah. Oh, so good. oh, I'm so happy we saw it. But we are going to head out towards the exit now because they do a new light show on the Chinese theatre on Mickey and Minnie's. And we haven't had a chance to see that this week, so we thought while we were here at night, we would go check that out. And that starts in 30 minutes. So we need to head over to the exit, work our way through all the crowds. And yeah, that will be the end of our park day because the park then closes at 10. Oh, I just love the lights. It's so cool walking around and seeing all the lights. Like the I lights know. And stuff. And also, like all the different colours and different styles. Yeah, and you can just like all the fans interacting with each other is just unbelievable. We've walked past a lot of uh, queues for photos, but it's incredible because the photographers really like oh, they really get into it. it, and like yeah. people are like moving their lightsabers around for the lights to be blurry on the photos and everything, and they're really going for it, and they're really like giving each person a decent amount of time to get their photo that they've obviously like made their outfit for and they've queued for. So yeah, the dedication to these outfits in this weather, this heat. Yes. today has been quite admirable. Oh, 100%. Like, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm sweating. My We've reached the edge of Galaxy's Edge. But overall, May the 4th of Star Wars Day. We only really spent the morning and then literally just the last, like, 30 minutes. But it was worth it. 100% worth it. So yeah. glad we experienced that I'm once happy. in our life. Yeah, I'm happy we got to see once. Yes, and it was a Saturday, so I don't know if that means it's extra busier than normal. But yeah, absolutely loved it. Yeah, now we need to go catch this. Is it a light show? Yeah, it's a projections onto the Chinese theatre. 
for Mickey and Minnie's. I've got my buddy. We've got Stormy. I also bought a new buddy. Yeah. What's his name? It's the it's the strawberry bear yeah. from Toy Story. Don't even know his name, but I picked him up and he was so cute that I literally could not put him down. He's so soft. He's so soft and he's got like magnet hands and he clips to your little bag, but I took him off while we were walking through Star Wars because I can't lose him. Friend. That's literally his villain origin story. It's like being left behind, being and, left forgotten. behind and forgotten. No, so, a whole movie oh plot. We are just waiting for the animation show. It's going to be projected onto the Chinese theatre. Welcome to Hollywood. Not a place on a map, but a state of mind that exists wherever people dream and wonder and imagine. A place where illusion and reality are fused by technological magic. We welcome you to a Hollywood that never was and always will be. Disney's Hollywood Studios presents Disney Movie Magic. It, how long is it since you had a world premiere? Well, of course, the big, uh, the big important premiere was uh, Snow White, but we had a couple after that. I feel what you have been all I've been before. When every laugh, it must be in tears. I believe in it. Time to time, people ask me, which is the favorite of all the pictures that we make? Well, it's the one that you're going to see right now.
by eating of his imperial majesty. Every family must contribute one man. My father cannot fight. So I will take his place. What is your name, soldier? Hua Jun, commander, son of Hua Zhou. Brave and true. It is my duty to protect my family. I'm Huang Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. The Grid, a digital frontier.
And now, please join us as Disney's Hollywood Studios proudly presents the wonderful world of animation. Mickey's premiere. This gala is sure to be the talk of the town as every star in Hollywood has gathered to see Mickey's latest sensational picture. Just hear those people cheer. And look, there he is, the star himself, Mickey Mouse. And there's his sweetheart, Minnie Mouse. Aren't the two of them just the cat's meow? Just don't tell Pluto. Let's take a look inside the theater.
ever felt this way about anyone. friend in the world. Kid, I don't think we're in Zip Wax anymore. You most certainly are not, friendo. We are in the internet. Yeah, we're heading out now. 
We love the fireworks show. Well, I did. Yes. Yeah. What's nice is like people are sitting down and it's very chill. Yeah, it's not like uh, the happily ever after fireworks or like Epcot. They let you sit down. Kind of like at the movies. But yeah. We're on our way out now, so we need to go get the bus back to All Star Movies. Try and hobble our way over there because our legs are killing us. <laughs> oh, oh, It was very worth it because I wanted to see Galaxy's Edge with all the lightsabers and I wanted to watch that animation. I really loved it. I feel like it's the first one, the movie yeah, I, one, I, was basically an advert for Disney Plus. Uh, yeah. I was thinking that when I was watching it, I was like, these are all films. That They're all basically the live action remakes yeah. um, of the Disney classics, but I, like, I love a good montage. And put together yep. the music. Yep. And then they had the odd firework as well, which was a nice surprise. I didn't think there was going to be fireworks. Then the second one, the animation one, was really cute. That was more similar to like the traditional fireworks. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I like that they have something like that here because it kind of like. I do think they need a yeah. something because the only thing they had was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic, I think. Fantastic. But yeah. Um, so I'm Great addition. Um, and you don't have to like queue. Yeah, and then, and it was not crowded at all. Like considering how busy it was today, yeah. very chill vibe compared to all the other nighttime shows. Yeah. But yeah, now and we you just can sit on the floor, which is yes. a bonus after a long time. Yes. But yeah, we're just heading out now to get the bus. It's very busy. Well, we're back at the hotel now, so we're just heading back to the room. We've refilled our mugs and yeah what an amazing day so thank you so much for watching our vlog uh we definitely recommend if you're ever in uh so yeah overall we really enjoy spending star wars day at galaxy's edge definitely recommend you doing it as a sort of bucket list item i don't think me and megan personally would go and do it again it was crazy busy i feel like the level of fans that we are of star wars sort of a one and done thing but yeah it was amazing seeing all of the lightsabers around the millennium falcon at night and we also really enjoyed the two shows uh, that we saw as well at the end i'd say solid three out of fives for those but i think definitely recommend seeing them while you're there uh the only thing we were a bit disappointed about was the shop because i feel like you could have gotten it all on shop disney or the disney stores but still a cool experience and obviously we were first in so not that bothered because it didn't take as long i feel like if we queued for longer we would have been more disappointed but i'm still glad about the merch we got got my little bucket was obviously you can't buy those on the disney store so yeah overall amazing day and uh thank you so much for watching uh, like i said there's one more vlog left tomorrow we're going to spend our morning in animal kingdom before we need to uh check out and head home and yeah we're traveling back tomorrow uh so hopefully trying to cram in some last minute stuff at disney we want to ride flight passage we want to eat at yak and yeti again but this time the quick service uh, i want to try and get on the safari because i've not done that yet so yeah if you like this video please give it a like comment down below and please subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye <laughs>